I'm starting as level 1 in Fallout 76 to answer one question. How good is the game now? Don't play this game. Not that exciting to play. Bethesda missed the mark 16 times. But now, almost six years later, we'll check out the NPCs, factions, storylines, dynamic events, new glitches, to see if the game is actually worth it. This is Fallout 76, starting as a level 1 in 2024. They grow up so fast. It was time to leave the vault. When you hear this, it means I've been gone for several hours. The overseer of the vault left on her own mission, and I needed to find out what that was. I got into her office and found the holotape. I need your help. There were three active nuclear silos in Appalachia before the bombs fell. We've got to locate and secure all of the silos. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me there. After getting all the items I could find, it was time to get out. vault, right? I thought it was empty. That's where the big one is. They told me about a rumor they heard from the Wayward, a shop not too far from here. The treasure? They were told it was inside of Vault 76, but it was a lie. If your overseer crossed our path, she sure wasn't broadcasting it. You might ask at the Wayward. Not, not too far from there. Further down the road, there was a guard tower where a settler was watching. He stared at me, curiously. The vault suit caught his attention. After taking a short hunting rifle from the tower, I found some houses with scorched. There, I got a good amount of weapons, lots of pipe pistols, an axe, and a pipe revolver. I also grabbed a bunch of resources from a nearby workshop. One of the things I found was a tape containing a playable game. The Big Boy lets you play mini games you could find scattered around the wasteland. But if you're interested in a real gaming console, you can win one for free if you click my link in the description, download Raid Shadow Legends, and head to springhunt.plarium.com to enter your Raid ID and join the competition. They will also be giving away Amazon gift cards with a total value of $10,000. It's the first time Raid is giving away real life prices, so be sure to join the Spring Hunt event now. You'll get a free legendary and two strong epic heroes. Be sure to click my link in the description or scan my QR code on screen and you'll get a huge starter pack with an epic champion Tyrell from the High Elves faction. After reaching level 25, you'll get another pack that includes an epic Rector Draft. All of these are available only via my custom link or QR only. If you go to an app store, you won't get this. Raid is celebrating community weeks, giving everyone a legendary champion, Chronicler Adeline. She's a top tier support who can put an enemy to sleep without hitting them. To get her, just log in for 7 days between April April 11th and July 8th. You can also get 14 days of reward in total. After downloading via my link on PC or mobile, use the promo code SPRINGHUNT24 to get silver and more. So, come find me under the name Arian Shadow, join my clan, the Undead Slayers, and we'll be legends together. Remember, click my link in the description and I'll see you on the battlefield. I finally arrived at the Wayward. Lady, I will paint the walls with you if you don't tell me where Crane's treasure is right now! Sweetheart? You picked the wrong time to get a drink. What are you? Hey! Who the hell are you? I didn't have enough charisma or luck to talk my way out of the situation. Our crew is getting that treasure. The criminal was looking for the location of the treasure, but the woman didn't know anything. I think I'll beat it out of her. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. The guy was specifically looking for a man named Crane, who came by previously. Who I guess I must have served at some point or another. I asked about the overseer. My people found a tape she left behind. In return for it, I'd have to put an end to the thugs. Each of these boys came in asking after Crane. The plan was to lure the gang by putting up a big sign called Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. and sent out an advertisement. And then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. 
I gave a listen to the Overseer's holotape. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. The town of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find me there. I found the campsite. Armor and weapons workbenches, cooking station, sleeping bag, resources, and schematics. I was over encumbered, so I began to break down some stuff. Then, I crafted a helmet to protect me from hazards and an outfit, also changed my backpack. Finally, I finished scrapping some weapons in low condition, put a long barrel on my 10mm and a hardened receiver on the pipe pistol. I needed to find a good place to set up my own camp and get on with the plan, and while well, looking for one. Two armed women who were guarding some sort of checkpoint. They were from a faction called the Brotherhood of Steel. Find, protect, and preserve. Further from the road, I stumbled upon a campsite full of corpses. Members of some sort of bandit group laid on the ground. Beside huge super mutants, things turned ugly for both sides. There wasn't much left to grab. A while later, I found an open space to set up camp. I put up a simple 4x4 and the sign to attract the bandits. I still had to find the relay tower to send the message, but before doing that, I headed towards Flatwoods to find the Overseer. On the way, I talked with the settler who was taking care of some construction. I'm looking for some supplies. I could use when I'm fixing things up around here. But I didn't have any to give him. After that, I arrived at Flatwoods. There was no sign of the Overseer. But I found another holotape of hers. My god. A disease. I was attacked by... Well, it used to be a person. The scorched. Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. The ones who survived? Police, firefighters, medics. Called themselves the responders. They even have an automated system to teach people about survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. Nearby, I found a water report. Water was unsafe to drink unless boiled thoroughly. Suddenly, someone came into the building. Are you here for the responder training? She told me the responders were long gone. But the training system is fully automated. Despite the jacket, Heather was not a responder. I've admired the responders ever since I first heard about them. There was a community of settlers up in the mountains to the east, a place called the Foundation. It's a nice enough place, I guess. Heather was staying up there, came here because of the treasure and to learn stuff from the responders. Chloe's my pet. Or maybe I'm hers. I'm not sure. Following the overseer's advice, I registered at the self kiosk as a responder. On my way to the first test, some robots went berserk. Mr. Fan hands are out of control. I had to defeat them and turn off their targeted systems. I went inside the Agricultural Research Center. Overseer's personal journals. The Agricultural Center. One of my first posts with vault -Tec. I was so excited because I used to come to this same farm when I was a kid. Me running through the corn maze. Being a kid. Our simple house? I wonder if it's still standing. I went to the first site. There, I found Kesha's body and holotape. I am Kesha McDermott. When the bombs fell, I was in Watoka, coordinating a statewide science fair for that year's high school kids. I found a couple of surviving kids from the high school whose parents didn't make it. We hold up in a house in town for a while. Got some water from the river and the water pumps to test. Brought it to the lab and analyzed them. The results were bad. I had to boil some of it to create drinkable water. One more test remained to become a full volunteer. I had to locate Delbert Winters, who ran the kitchens and trained survivors in food safety. He was at his home, laying on the floor. Reverend Delbert Winters here. The responders are on a true mission, you see. Helping folks through thick and thin. Till the heavens open up again and take us all up anyways. I built kitchens. Cooked good food. Fed anyone who walked up with an empty belly. 
and I was thankful for my task in life. Proceeding to follow the instructions on the terminal, I cooked some raw ingredients on the fire. After that, I was granted access to the responder's database. Once inside, I saw an urgent message. A large horde of Scorch was headed to Morgantown Airport. All personnel were requested to report there as soon as possible. But before going there, I needed to head to the relay tower and finish the quest from Wayward. I stopped at my camp to store some junk. Going up the road, I crossed paths with a couple survivors. Ugh, it's hard work making a living out here. After taking care of some ghouls, the message was uploaded. Message uploaded. And the broadcast complete. Time to go and wait at my camp. On the way, I found a lookout tower. There were a few settlers building. All of them were talking about Foundation. Foundation might be coming along, but we got a lot more work to do. I should pay that a visit soon. Grabbed a couple weapons while climbing to the top and surveilled the area. Finally at my camp, a treasure hunter. You're not Crane. She was asking about Crane. Nothing useful though, but then the free radicals. You Crane? Rumor is you've got information our boss wants. I offered to trade. You just tell me where the treasure is. I tried to lie. You think we're idiots? Same thing, but I wasn't going to back down. Start flapping. No, you first. No, you first. No, you first. No, tell me what I want to know. Okay, fine. We're at the West Virginia Lumber Company, okay? There. Now tell me where the hell the treasure is. They had a note in one of their pockets. Time to report to Duchess. This gang was located at the Lumber Company building. That place was overrun with a bunch of those big green bastards. If this gang was able to clean those things out of the mill, these guys might be tougher than advertised. There were different ways to proceed. First, there was a family at Anchor Farm who seemed to have managed to work something out with them. I could find out what that was. Second, a scrapper at Tyler County Fairground. Guy kept claiming he knew the best way to run the mutants out of the mill. I could learn how he did it. Third, well, go guns blazing. Well, I wouldn't go in guns blazing. No matter how, my objective was to get rid of the gang leader, be it by killing him or convincing him to leave the wayward alone. On the way, I found an outpost called Settlers Ridge. I talked with Ashley. Their group was called the Settlers. They were building a new home. Make it a safe place to live and raise a family. Foundation was their biggest settlement. He told me to stop by. He even marked this location on my map. I also learned a bit more about the other factions. Brotherhood of Steel is a pretentious, overbearing organization that wants to control the world. Have you seen my tool? No, oh, never mind. I've just spotted him. After hours of traveling, I arrived at Anchor Farm. Where I found Daniel. Plenty of unclaimed space up the road. He didn't like me being there. Trying to let you know you're trespassing. He wanted me to leave. We like our privacy. I didn't have enough perception, charisma, nor strength to do anything. None of your business. But I thought maybe I could find something in the farm by myself. Turns out her daughter overheard our conversation. You were asking about that gang? Papa keeps listening to that tape of them. He seems sadder every time he does. It's in the safe under the stairs. Maggie, we all benefit here. We provide you with protection. You mean you get to take whatever you want and leave us all to starve? You can take your deal and shove it. <gasps> I'm sorry, Maggie. The rest of us are in agreement. I'll deliver it personally. Password to get inside is Blue Daniel. Someone called Maggie refused to keep paying and Daniel killed her. I confronted him about all of this. Maggie was going to get us all killed. He did it to defend his daughter. And she's alive now because we all were willing to make a deal. But did that justify taking someone else's life? This world was broken. I headed towards Tyler County Fairgrounds. Finally, I found the scrapper. Get the out of here. 
I asked him about how he managed to run everyone out from West Virginia lumber. Government issued astral transporter. He told me about a government artifact that made you invisible. He offered to give it to me, but wanted something in return. Island nearby has got a big nest in it. Bring me an egg, I'll give you what I got. It was a strange request, but I went to his location to check it out anyways. Now you understand why I didn't want to go. So you gave me my egg or not? All that was left to do was head to the lumber company and face the bandit gang. Gunshots. Found the corpse of a settler. Seemed the mutants were really aggressive and dangerous. Gotta be careful. I stumbled upon a scavenger on the road. Hey buddy, my poor robot. All of a sudden he won't move. Her robot was broken. He's my best friend. Any idea of what the problem might be? Thankfully, I found some circuitry between all the junk that I had and just did to fix it. I'll try that. Oh my god! He's up and running! Thought he'd end up scrap. I was afraid I'd have to abandon him. Protect and serve. Following that, I came across a camp which I thought was from settlers, but... They were members of the Blood Eagle. Finally, I had arrived. Whoa, whoa. You checked in yet? What's the password? Go on through. Boss is in the main building. I met with their gang leader. I told them that I would find the treasure for them if they leave the wayward alone. You find this treasure for me, no one bothers the wayward again. I went back and talked to Duchess about all of this. I asked her about Crane, but... There's still the issue of my missing muscle. Before she told me anything about him, she needed me to find her missing guards. You track him down? Maybe I remember a thing or two about this Crane fella. Missing person number one's named Polly. Got a transmitter in her. You could track her with your little radio there. Missing person number two goes by Saul. They were inside a goldy mine. I got inside. I was able to find Saul. I gave him a steam pack. Thank you. He told me he tried to track the ghoul's nest with Polly. But a couple of them got the drop on us before Polly chased them off deeper into the mine. Once you've got her, just bring her back to the wayward. Further down. Hey! Hey! Someone there? I can use a lift! I found Polly, or whatever remained of her. You are a sight for sore eye. She asked me to bring her to the wayward. And I'll help you bake to a crisp anything that bothers us on our way out the door. I used her head as a gun, vaporizing the waves of ghouls. Sayonara. Back at long last. But where's our girl? Oh, God. Paul? Whoa. You're not looking so great, darling. Duchess, I'm not feeling great. Um, Jug should do the trick. This is real snug. Before learning the truth about Crane, they asked me to find a body for Polly. Duchess, tell me you emptied this out. Did I? Duchess, is there any chance you might be able to help us out here? 
Find Polly this new body. I'll tell you everything I know about Crane and his treasure. They gave me a transmitter and the location with the car needed to get a pristine assault drone body. I started heading to Summerspiel. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I'm home. I'm sorry it's been so long, but I couldn't get away. I know neither of you is around to hear this, but I miss you. I miss watching Dad grade papers on the living room table. I miss the three of us huddled around the radio. You were right about what living underground would really be like. Since I'm doing this whole trip down memory lane, maybe a walk over to the old high school is in order. I finally got into Duncan and Duncan Robotics. Are you another ghost? I cannot bring you the peace you require, spirit. Leave me be. I picked the lock to go into the showroom. Excuse me. Entrance into the showroom is for customers There, I found the paper with the code for the keypad that got me into the assault room, where I put the transmitter into the body. I got the wayward. Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. You've worked real hard putting things right for us. Crane, you ready to listen? Duchess showed me upstairs. You want to give him a little nudge? Boy, boy, boy is key, boy is key. <sighs> That's all he's saying. Jesus, Duchess. Boy is key. That thing's been up here the whole time? That thing is Crane, Solomon. Put it out of its misery. Those things are killers, Duchess. <laughs> It wasn't this bad before. I found him, just resting on the stoop at an ungodly hour. It wasn't until I got his shirt off that I saw the crystals. He didn't fight me. He wanted me to tie him up because he didn't want to hurt anybody. She still saw it as a person, but there was no cure once the infection was that far gone. I couldn't. Just make it quick. Of course. Unless... You want to take care of it? According to that map, the treasure is in some kind of special cache tucked away inside Golly Mine, sealed away behind a keycard locked door. We'll let you keep said map and access card as payment for everything you've done for us. Once inside the mine, I was able to use the card to open the next door. After hacking a terminal, I registered my Pip Boy. Pip Boy. Registration. Countermeasures disabled. You may now present Pip Boy at access point. Valid Pip Boy detected. Access granted. Welcome, prospective Robco customer. The place was already ransacked. Only scraps were left. Not much of value. But, at the end, there was a room, full of machines. I grabbed the token nearby. I could choose any of them and get a weapon of my liking. I ended up grabbing a new pistol. Back at the wayward. Well, well. We've been having a little discussion with your friends here. Word around the water cooler is you found Crane's treasure. Pay up. The only thing of value was the weapon that I got. That's it? You give me that, I suppose we can call it even. Unless you can make me a better offer. I convince him to take the key to the cache. Fine. I'll take the key. 
Let's go, boys. They finally left. I suppose that could have gone a lot worse. At least they're out of our hair. I had a permanent discount at the shop and a steam pack from Solomon for avoiding all the bloodbath. Oh, and I nearly forgot. Once we got the power back on, we started picking up this broadcast. Some woman claiming to be an overseer of one vault 76. She was alive. I put it on. Broadcasting to the people of vault 76. This is the overseer. We need to talk face to face. I'll be waiting in Sutton. I headed there quickly. Let's talk downstairs. I have an important mission, but you're just not ready. It's too dangerous. I needed to get stronger. Before you do anything, you need to get inoculated against the Scorch disease. Dr. Hudson was working on a cure. Her research lab was in the Morgantown airport. Before leaving, she told me to look for the holotape she left to help me on my way. It was time to go to Morgantown. I needed to look for more clues about the responders, find out what happened to them. Cheers, friend. I haven't hit rock bottom yet. Got inside Morgantown's airport building. Got to a locked door. Downstairs, I saw the skeleton of a police woman holding an ID card. I used it to proceed. Then, another tape from the Overseer. I wondered what could possibly cause all this. And then I got my answer. It swooped down from the sky, screeching, infecting everything. We can't let the disease spread to us. Looks like the responders were developing some kind of inoculation. I'm going to pick up their work. You should too. Another visitor to the responders' graveyard. There was a man. His brother was a responder. Came to check on him. A few years too late, looks like. They were overrun by the scorches. I proceeded to search for the next Overseer Journal at Morgantown High School, but then... The Scorch Beast, flying in the sky. One of the monsters responsible for the infection. It was too powerful to fight for now. I needed to get stronger. I picked up a broadcast. WGRF Station. It was Grafton's mayor. That was my next destination. Grafton's mayor was computer. There is a flood of new visitors to the area. There were four major attractions that needed to be prepared for tourists. I decided to give him a hand. Get each one of them ready. Rad scorpions. The first tourist location was the shooting range. I cleaned the place up by picking up some bottles on the ground. Good job getting the shooting range presentable. I found a doctor in a makeshift camp near the lake. She was studying the soil to encourage plant growth. If plants don't grow, you don't eat. She gave me a Tesla science magazine. The second location was Wavy Willer's water park where I turned the water valve on. 
Arriving at the third location, I killed some raiders and ghouls who were fighting each other at the Black Bear Lodge. There, I repaired the check-in terminal. Only one location remained to finish Grafton's quest, and that's when I came across the raider faction home base. I got inside. Talking with one of them, I learned the place was called The Crater. It was the biggest raider settlement on Appalachia. Is it daytime out there? Great. Thanks to that damn broadcast, we got all the rats crawling out of the woodwork. I met Meg. She mentioned the broadcast about the treasure, told me the raiders were against the cultists, the blood eagles, and the settlers. As brutal and savages as they seemed to be, they were pretty relaxed too. Maybe they weren't so bad after all. Out of my face. Finally, I finished the Grafton quest by repairing the last machine. With that quest finished, it was time to continue with the inoculation mission. I'm so glad I finally caught up with you. Congratulations! You've won the Great Appalachian Sweepstakes, and this wonderful prize is yours! The Great Appalachian Sweepstakes is not responsible for paying the required gift tax. Failure to do so may be reported to the IRS. Enjoy your prize! Way, I stumbled upon a destroyed dam, but I had to deal with some scorch. Finally, I had arrived at the medical center. It was time to find the terminal. To be able to synthesize the antibodies necessary for the inoculation, I needed to extract a blood sample from a feral ghoul. I also needed to collect a new fuse to repair the machine. I first headed towards the feral ghoul area. Then, I got the ash heap region warning. On the first sign of toxic air, I needed to put on the gas mask. Thankfully, my headgear got me covered. After killing a few ghouls and collecting the sample, I went and got the type T fuse. Back to the terminal, I analyzed the blood, installed everything, and got inoculated. And if you're hearing this? A recording started playing on the intercoms. The scientist, she was talking about the fire breathers, an elite responders unit. I had to find out if they were alive, and if not, I needed their weapons to stay alive against the scorched. They were based in Charleston Fire Department. I had to check it out. Join the fire breathers. The place was full of protectron fire breathers. One of them told me to use the terminal. And there, I found Tiffany. She wanted to join them. Wow! That's awesome! Maybe we can study together. Oh boy! While she stayed there studying, I passed this knowledge exam. Wow! The fitness one was next. Before going, I found an overseer tape in the fire station. It takes a certain calling to voluntarily run into the middle of a fire. Looks like they kept up that spirit. They must have fought the Scorched up close more than anyone. The super mutants were getting pretty tough. My armor broke. I had to set up camp. I repaired everything and changed my outfit. I got to the fitness terminal. The test consisted of going from point A to point B and back in less than three minutes. <sighs> With that done, the final exam site was next. A protector named Bernie gave me a fire breather ticket, which I used at the kit dispenser to get my uniform, a hollow tape with my briefing, and an anti scorch training pistol. Welcome, recruit, to your final exam. I'm Hank Madigan, fire breather lieutenant. Exam simple. 
reach the bottom of the mine, hit the emergency beacon down there, and come back up. There was a power armor just standing there, unfortunately, I couldn't use its parts yet, so I took them off into my inventory and entered the frame. Having completed all the tests, I went back to the fire department and registered as a new fire breather I was officially one of them. Then a priority message started playing. Maria, Melody, whoever's down there, it's Madigan checking in. I'm up here just outside the top of the world and I found something. I just need you to send back up up here quick. I needed to discover what happened. After storing the power armor in my stash, I headed there. The journey was not simple. I found out that there were mountains between me and the place I had to go. There was no way to cross. I had to go all the way around the mountains until finally finding a train track to follow. Minutes later, once at the top of the world, Someone started talking on the speakers. Her name was Rose, and she wouldn't let me in unless I did something for her. Until you help me with my radio problem, that button's not gonna do anything for you. There's someone in control of this old ski resort, and if I ever find her, I'm gonna <laughs> her with a f***ing... Time to get to work. <laughs> Once I got to the radio array, I reached level 20. I was finally ready for the mission with the Overseer. First, I needed to get this thing done. I put the transmitter and diverted the power to the repeater. The transmission was ready. <laughs> Look, I'm what you people would call a raider. And thanks to you, I've got a working radio. Come see me at the top of the world when you get the chance. I went back to the top of the world to confront her. That's when I found that she was a robot. Just next to her, inside a cage, Madigan, 
Dad. Well, this is a little awkward. I almost backstabbed you, but clearly I didn't or you'd be dead. You're here about that guy, huh? He's been dead a while. She told me that he tried to negotiate with bandits. They strung him up and left him to die after convincing him to spill the beans about what he was up to. He was trying to install a scorch detector when he got caught. Being level 20, it was time to return to the Overseer. It's time. You're ready. Did you finish the inoculation against the Scorched Plague? Good, because we're gonna need a lot more of it. People from outside Appalachia are coming in. I snuck around two of the larger groups and saw them both building. They were walking into a medical crisis they didn't even know about, all because of a rumor. There's something in the mountains. It's a vault. Stories of untold riches would draw groups of people even before we turn the world into a wasteland. We need to make sure the newcomers don't get infected. Up north was the Raider faction, friends of Rose the Robot. See if she can arrange a meeting or, or whatever their word is for we need to talk, don't shoot us. The ones in the south were more like a caravan of families, the settlers. I needed to talk to both groups and get them inoculated. Be careful out there. It was going to be a long journey. First, I started heading towards the settlers' home base. from one of the vaults, right? Ooh, it's always nice to bump into another living, talking human being. You know, as much as I love wandering around, do you happen to know somewhere safe I can stay? Traveling with Paige and the gang would pay off one day. Would you mind setting up my guitar at your camp? You get that set up and I'll trundle right over. Continuing on my way, I happened to come across White Spring Refuge. The place was full of robots of different types helping out. The White Spring is under our protection. A very bird was on the roof. The place was a palace. I wasn't sure what all of this was about. Is this a refuge or a palace? I went to talk with one of the workers there. This is the refuge, headquarters of the responders. These ones, anyway. Not the original. These were people who wanted to continue their message. Lots of folks out there ain't got enough to eat or a place to sleep or are sick. Here at the refuge, they can get some of what they're missing. It was pleasantly surprising to see people like this, who truly cared, even after all of what happened. May I interest you in wine, beer, and or spirits? I met with the representatives from the settlers and raiders. Both of them didn't like the fact that the responders were basically encouraging new people in need to come to Appalachia. And we just don't have the resources to take care of that many people. For now, I would continue helping the overseer. I needed to go to the settlers and talk to their leader. I finally got to foundation. <laughs> I went down the elevator and talked with Paige. Well, uh, you're from one of the local vaults, right? Told him about the inoculation. He had no idea about the disease. This some kind of a scare tactic? He even thought that all of this was a lie. You're saying it's from a disease? And that I wanted to keep him away from the neighborhood. If I was a local on a campaign to keep people out of my neighborhood, I might say a few things too. Paige said that if the doctor of the camp was convinced, he would be too. Aubrey. I sent him ahead to start up an observation camp. You talk to him about this. If he's convinced, then I'm convinced too. I needed to find Aubrey at the observation camp. The place was full of scorched, and everyone seemed to be dead. I checked the bodies one by one. Perhaps someone survived. 
I counted the beds and realized there were five, but only four human bodies. The scrambled footprints suggested that the settlers were surprised. I noticed a trail of footprints heading northeast. Perhaps Aubrey was still alive. I followed the trail to a secluded cave. Stay back! Aubrey was inside. They hit us out of nowhere. And explained everything about the disease. Those things are caused by infection? Paige needs to know as soon as possible. If there's an inoculation, we need to get that to Foundation yesterday. This disease of yours is no joke. With that done, the leader of the settlers agreed. If Aubrey's behind you, so am I. Get us that inoculation. Now, I just needed to convince the raiders. I went to the top of the world to talk to Rose. If you want to talk to Meg, you gotta get on her good side. The former leader of a raider gang had a trophy as a symbol of his leadership. If I found that... You get that into Meg's hands, it's like passing the torch, right? In addition to that, Rose was going to send the broadcast to make Meg, their leader, come here. Problem is, I need to access some old memory banks that David sealed off. I would find it at the memorial site. I went to David's room, got the trophy, and the location of the site. With the program now in my hands, the only thing left to do was to repair it. Unfortunately, we were missing one more thing, which I had to go and get at the pharmaceutical building. With all of that done, I went to the relay tower to start the broadcast. Hey, uh, me. I'm David Ford. Top of the world is where it's at. It's time to negotiate. The message was out there. Quickly, I made my way back and cleared the place before Meg arrived. David's trophy, huh? First, she thought all of this was a lie, but I was able to convince her about the importance of the inoculation. Maybe you do know what you're talking about. Got a raid against a group of Scorch going down right now. I'll get someone to call them home. You just work on that inoculation. With both factions having agreed to this, I went back to talk with the Overseer. I've been looking into where we can mass produce the inoculation. And the answer was Nuka-Cola Company. Exactly. The local plant even has all the equipment to make experimental beverages. Perfect for us hacking in the inoculation. I'd meet her there. Once inside the building... We need to get the power up and running and reformulate the machines for the inoculation. I first got inside a scanner and then spliced antibodies into the formula. That's it. You had to restart the reactor. While doing this, I found new power arm. With everything set up, the Nuka-Colas were ready. took some and delivered the inoculation to both factions. Nice looking label, I guess. With that, the crisis was over. But now it was time to work on the mystery of the mountains. It's a vault, Vault 79, sealed tight with no obvious way in. The overseer had a plan to find out what was hidden inside. Every student who graduates Vault Tech University has a story about the restricted wing, where all the higher ups would have their meetings, government officials, the military. We fought some robot police inside the building, and then we talked to a professor bot. Before he'd help us, There is one thing I need. He wanted me to run through a vault simulation. An overseer test I had no option but to accept. Resolve the conflict. I went to talk with the security chief. There was a reactor leak. An engineer tried to fix it. Poor kid got a full dose of rads. The medic refused to send in help. Quarantined the reactor area so nobody died trying to go in there. The head engineer accused the doctor of murder. Then, a couple days later, one of the doctor's assistants was missing. Everyone thought it was a revenge killing. An eye for an eye. I first talked with the medical staff, and then with the engineer, but they didn't give me anything useful. I needed to get inside the reactor area to look for any clues. Thanks to my lockpicking skill, I snuck my way in, and there I saw the assistant's corpse and her holotape. This is Estella, Dr. Loris's assistant. 
I snuck into the reactor to help Kellerman. I'm dosing Kellerman with enough right away so he can finish fixing it, but the radiation is going to get us. It was no revenge killing. With that mystery cleared up, I got everyone together and solved the conflict. They worked together? Oh, we've been fools, Brass. Now, I was an official graduate from vault University, and the professor gave me access to all areas. He revealed that inside the simulation space, there was a maintenance area that concealed the room that we were looking for. Here, this has to be it. Let's see what they left behind. Vault 79 will be the new home for all of America's gold reserves, where it will be safe behind vault Tech's top-of-the-line automated security. Sophisticated laser grid fields, military-grade defensive turret systems. We could have leverage to create a new economy, property rights, taxes, laws, a government. We could rebuild the country again. What we needed to figure out now was how to get inside. We won't be able to do it alone. We need help. We had to talk to both factions and see all the options available. You need some serious equipment to do any demo work. Page was in. He had the manpower and skill, but we will need serious equipment to do any demolition work. You get us a big enough drill, we can find the right spot to hit. We need something industrial level. I needed to check drilling equipment companies. Before continuing, I talked with Meg. She didn't believe me until I showed her the vault plans. She said she wanted 50-50 on everything inside and sent me to talk with her demolitioner. But I decided not to go with them. I would side with Foundation. After changing my outfit at camp, I was ready to go to Hornwright Industrial Headquarters to search for the tools to get inside of Vault 79. I needed an ID card to use the elevator. I managed to get one by doing a test on one of the terminals. This mother load requires repair beacon. Next thing, the repair beacon. Repair system engaged. Mother load status nominal. Mother load complete. I repaired the mother load, a huge computer drill. Failsafe procedure initiated. Recent signal detected at Hornwright Estate safe room. The mother load wanted me to meet her at a safe room located at the Hornwright Estate, where a failsafe transponder was recently detected. At the Hornwright Estate, I arrived at the safe room. Initiating breach procedure. Breach complete. Mother load? I'm Penny Hornwright. This used to be my home. What exactly do you need the mother load's help with? I told Penelope about everything, and she agreed to help. If your new society will allow ghouls like me to join, then I'll help. We had to get to work. I'll need a pit boy for a mobile terminal. I'll need a full construction kit so I can add some extra circuitry. Once I got all that, she found out that the mother load had a lot of damage and needed new parts. She'll need a better interpolator. She also needs a new sensor module, an altimeter for sure. I got the altimeter from a plane upstairs, then the sensor module from an iBot. The RoboBrain interpolator was in an area all the way east of the map. I had never been there before. Take those parts if you don't mind. The next problem to solve was the laser grid system in the vault. Our youngest scavenger pops up to tell me she's got it handled. She said she has a way to beat the grid. Her name is Jen. I had a chat with her. I take it you talk to Paige. I'm looking for something that is designed to be invisible. It's a suit that hides you from everything, even laser detection grids. Which would help out with Vault 79, right? To find it, we needed to grab a Liberator bot. This tech allowed for other tech from the same origin to see it and report back. So we just have to get that other tech and check its logs. I'll see if we have anyone around here who can help out with the next part. 
Once I got that, Penny checked it out. These logs look encoded, but like nothing I've seen before. It's actually Chinese. So my mom's last known location was... A golf course? I can't imagine there's anything spy-worthy there. Are you saying what I think you're saying? My parents were spies. Maybe if you take it to the seventh hole, it'll pick up the signal again. We went to White Spring Golf Course and set free the Liberator at the seventh hole. By following the robot, I found the trap door, which led me to a secret communist base. Clearing the place, I found Agent Mo Chow, Jen's mom. I'm here against my will. She said she didn't choose any of this. They threatened to kill my family if I didn't work for them. And then Jen arrived. Wait, how can you be alive, Mom? What is this place? Jen, why would you come here, you foolish child? You need to leave. She was disappointed by the fact that she was working for them and abandoned her. I'm trying to think of a way where you walk out of this. How can someone do that to their own child, though? Let's just get the suit and go. We went back to Foundation. Hey, I got the suit. Looks like we're good to go. She's gonna meet up with me after we hit Vault 79. And hey, thanks again. The next thing to prepare for were the laser turrets. Guess it's time we talked about those laser turrets, huh? I had to reach out to some specialists who've been shadowing us since the pit. They've agreed to meet, but they want to talk to you first. To make contact, I would have to signal at the certain location by waving a flag. Gotta keep your eyes peeled in this weather. Hmm. Maybe a guy who could fix that. Make your way due north towards the hill. You'll see a concrete bunker. Oliver Fields, Captain, United States Army. Radcliffe, one of his soldiers could take care of the turrets. We're dealing with Robco's semi-autonomous and mobile weapon platform. You and I are going to meet up at the Robco Research Center down near Watoga. See if we can find the equipment I need to bust through those turrets. We went to a Robco Research Center to see if we could find it. Once inside the building, I found the terminal. The research team that worked in the laser turrets located in the vault got their brains put in storage before the war. I took one of the doctor's brain, cooked it, and after gathering some more parts, What did you need again? I asked her how to bypass the turrets. After finding some more robots, <laughs> we got the tools. And we returned to Captain Fields. Now we were ready. We had everything we needed. We'll gather everything up and meet you there. We met at the entrance of the vault. Waiting on Dr. Hornwright. You didn't happen to run into her on her way, did you? Hi, everyone. Small situation. There's... Well-dressed people from the crater are here. They say hello. They want the vault dweller to come alone, or they are going to kill me. The raiders were holding Penelope hostage. Here at last. Step into my office. If we don't get the treasure, then no one gets the treasure. This isn't a negotiation. This is a kill room. There was no way to reason with these people. <sighs> Let's do this.
Okay, so I'm not dead. Very pleased about that. But the mother load, they just kept hitting her with bats and furniture. Penelope told me that the mother load's module was shattered. We had to build one from scratch. To get what we needed, we went to a place called the cave. Get to the other side. The real test is how you handle the walls. Whatever you do alters the module's programming. Okay, stopping to think before drilling. We walked through a strange maze, and then I entered the neural oscillation scanner, finally getting the module and installing it. It was time to get into the vault. Let's crack this vault. Jen had to go through the lasers. While she tried to deactivate them, another wave of robots attacked. With all that out of the way, Penny had to head back to Foundation. You'll have to make do without me. And we proceeded to go deeper into the vault. were people looking for rescue. Never underestimate the power of greed, Slick. You're such a cynic, AC. <laughs> By their clothing, I say they've been here since before the war. They told us they were doing some routine work, and their reactor went off. Next thing we knew, half our people were turned into monsters trying to kill us. Worse, the fighting activated the security systems and robots. That was almost three months ago running out of food and water, so it's a good thing you showed up. They were what was left of the Secret Service. As part of the Treasury Department, we look after the nation's currency. The only way to the gold is to restore the power so the doors will open. Normally, I'd put a bullet in you if you tried to take our gold. But there's been enough death lately. So the gold is yours, if you can get us out of here. I can open the door to the reactor using emergency power. That's it. We came to an agreement. If we freed them, the goal was ours. I stumbled upon another Secret Service agent. Thanks for not shooting me. I know I look weird, like one of those feral ghoul monsters. I'm with those other guys. You know, AC, Slick. I'm Agent Chase with the Secret Service. Digger to my friends. I was on the reactor team when it malfunctioned. I was able to stabilize the reactor. But it won't come online with the radiation levels this high. You're gonna have to vent the air from the chamber. I'd sneak around the edges if I were you. Good luck! There were feral ghouls there. Thankfully, I found a suit. After killing all of them, I activated the emergency ventilation. Warning, the reactor ventilation override has been activated. Doors closing. Finally, getting to the room full of gold. Thing is, that wasn't the actual vault. That was a measuring room with just a thousand bars. Where's the rest of it? It looks like the main vault is still sealed off. This is some sort of measuring or counting room. First of all, thank you for the rescue. Here's an elevator key. 
Finally, it was time to go to the real vault. Can't believe we did it! We did it. A chance to rebuild the very essence of modern society, to start from scratch. It's hard to believe that we actually did it. A new currency was much more than establishing an economy. It was a foundation of trust. It was a symbol of our faith in a better future. We would have bowed to not make the same mistakes again. The well-being of the people was the beacon that guided us. In this new world, we found our purpose in a brighter future. This was humanity's new beginning. Don't forget to use my Red Shadow Legends link in the description or scan the QR code on screen to get huge bonuses and participate for a chance to win a gaming console and more. Thank you for watching all the way through and thank you to everyone who joins as a member and donates to the channel. Hope to see you again.